Pledge three, County of Cuga, exempting residential energy sources and services from sales, compensating use taxes pursuant to the authority of Article 29 of the Tax Law of the State of New York. Move it, Lydia. Second. Second. Okay, discussion. Jim. Go ahead, Art. Do you want to? Go ahead, Art. Mr. Chairman, for a change, I'd like to introduce a resolution which is going to save save taxpayers money instead of cost them money. Thank you. You're welcome, Jim. So um, I just had one question about what, when it says residential energy sources, what it, how is that defined? Maybe the attorney can help us. Is this strictly pure oil, home propane? Yeah, any home heating. Any home heating. Yes, home heating. Believe it or not, wood. wood. Which I don't think many of the law is in Wood chips, wood chips, coal. Um, coal. coal. Oil, LP, natural so gas. If your house is electric, I don't believe so. No. Okay. <laughs> Good question. Good question. Any other discussion? Uh, did somebody else have their hand? Up? Okay, Brian. Uh, uh, the the oh, hi, section two uh, <coughs> reads that the actual take effect September twenty second. Um, is this uh, a permanent? Yes. What we have to, it can be reinstated uh, by the full legislature at some other time. It won't be permanent for right now until the legislature takes action to reinstate it. I think it reads. Is the number zero? No, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Chris. I, I just want to make sure, I guess I'm having a tough time this evening. I want to make sure that this is just specifically on the home heating fuels, it's 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 just for right. It's not motor vehicle. Okay, okay. not gasoline for cars. No. Or diesel. So it's limited to that. It's not yeah. nice, say customers. I mean, I'm really confused. This is we have heating or fuel oil delivered to your house because that's how you heat it. Yes. It is not anything to do. Mr. With Attorney, can you explain it a little bit more, please? Yeah, like for example, up in the north where we're quite narrow. I mean, you'll hear some of the propane companies complain that when they deliver in Creek, for example, which is Wayne County, they don't charge the sales tax. When they deliver to Cuyahoga County residents, they do charge the sales tax. And then you get to Hannibal, which is Oswego County, again, no sales tax. So it depends on where the, the delivery site is as opposed to when you fill out the, the sales tax form. I mean, they're right on the Department of Tax and Finance site. You can look and see. I know it everybody if you want to, but you can see what's included and where it's charged. Was that, I, was that saying your question? I don't know if that was your question. Yeah, I was not totally okay, clear can you what- Okay, try it was, again? You know, I'm I'm looking at people that get, eat their house through NYSEG or, and there's nothing to do with any of that. Natural gas. Well, yeah, yeah. If, if you had natural gas, there'd be a sales tax on it. So this will exempt it? Four percent. So it's not all of it. Is it electric to heat your home? As so I understand. If I get my NYSEG bill, then I have, I'm, there's a county tax on that. Is and that for, will be exempt. Is it for gas? It, yes. But then there won't be a tax on there anymore. So this will impact and save people in the city of Auburn and not just people outside the county? Certainly. Everybody. Yeah. Good question. Yeah, Brian. Um, do we do we ever do an evaluation of not having those tax dollars, how they will impact our, um, you know, will we, will we have a shortage will, to our budget because we don't have that money? Yes, that has been figured out. Uh, Lynn, do you want to explain that, please? No. Um, Mary Beth really did the presentation. I mean, I don't have the numbers. I mean, it is a million dollars is what she projected. Um, a million dollars is what she projected. The, the county. Yeah. Lost revenue. Lost revenue. Lost revenue. Right. So at this point, how does that affect our budget? Like, we don't have a budget to look at. I mean, I'm, I'm not opposed. I know what you, I know what you mean. My question but should, the question has to go to Lynn. We're going to have a million dollar shortage. Oh, That'll be every year, too. That's not one year. It's but. every year. Ask Forever. them, and I'll have to answer that question, right? We, no, we would. There's nothing to answer. I mean, right, the money won't be there. A million dollars less in, in sales tax revenue. Right, but I, Lynn knows the exact amount. No. That's what I was saying. No. So let me leave a 4%. We're going to zero. Right. So when we go to zero, 
where do we find that other million dollars? It's a good question. That's up to the legislature. Exactly. I just don't know. I mean, I mean, I'm not saying I'm opposed. I just don't know. I, I know, Stan. Consider the staffing uh, spending as we are. We're, We're not going to stop like drunken sailors, you know. Just uh, we need to cut back. We're looking at uh, uh, thirty million dollars to renovate the building, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we're still spending money. Yes, we need to cut back on spending. And this this tax is totally unfair because uh, it's it's based on a necessity. New York State, in in its wisdom, uh, took off their four percent of the tax on home heating fuels. Okay, back years ago, Cuyahoga County never did, and it's high time we did. This is a moral thing as much as anything. And you know what? I agree with you. I do agree with you because it's like having food. Right, I do agree with you. My point is, if if we're going to have a deficit of a million dollars, you say stop spending. Have you seen? I'm just asking you a question because I don't know. Have you have you seen a budget? Have I seen a do budget? you have a budget to show us? Not at this time. So, I so basically, I we're blindly. Uh, I, I agree with you, but I'm saying we're blindly doing this. Let me speak. The budget. Okay, the loss of revenues is going to to the county budget is going to be roughly a million dollars. We probably have an extra uh, four to five million dollars of fund balance right now. Some of the fund balance will uh, fill in the uh, budget, uh, will fill in the hole in the budget. Okay, if there is one, and uh, we'll have to continue from there. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I mean. Uh, Lydia. 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 Yeah, and then uh, Christina. When the, pre uh, the presentation happened last week, um, Mary Beth did say that we have four or five million dollars excess sales tax revenue. Um, so we wouldn't feel a negative impact of one million dollars based on that excess revenue. That's the way I understood it. Christina. So those of us that were traveling were not here for that presentation, nor was that presentation forwarded to us. So this information we don't have. I would like to say that this is a big thing to make a decision on. And I do agree that we need to be considering um, alleviating this stress on our constituents. However, this is too important to have not all of the data in front of us. We need to have this budget. We need to have these numbers in front of us. So I would uh, like to ask that this get tabled until we can have all of this information and address that when, when we have this information forward. Chris, I would like to clarify my answer to Elaine. Uh, it does not affect what's charged in the city. I'm looking at the forum, the city right, you know, is preempted on sales tax. Mm -hmm. uh, they have imposed the 4% as well. So if this resolution were to pass, it would only apply to those outside of the city. And your questions on electricity, um, part one is residential gas, propane, 100 pounds or more, electricity and steam, can you be charged as that? Second, residential gas, propane, 100 pounds or more, electricity and steam, same one does charge it. Residential coal, fuel, oil, and wood for heating. Um, that one actually uh, is charged by Cuyahoga County. We don't charge for non-residential gas, propane, electricity, and steam. Just mm -hmm. residential. This will exempt businesses too, or no? Uh, uh, no, we, we don't charge. Oh, for okay, so if they're already at zero, okay. charge okay. businesses promoted. are already at zero. Sorry, the city will not be affected by this. Sorry, the city does it. So, <laughs> um, I also feel like this should be tabled. I'm not sure what the rush is. And there are so many questions in terms of where we're even at with our budget right now, with our budget to actual on our projections with sales tax. We had a brief conversation with Mary Beth um, before this meeting, and it sounds like we're relatively flat, five, maybe 500,000 over what we projected. So there needs to be an accounting for this million dollars, and it's a million dollars moving forward every single year. I'm not opposed to not taxing fuel. I totally agree with you, Hans, that that's a basic necessity. But at the same time, it's not a universally enjoyed benefit. How many people in our county heat with electric? I've had homes before that were heated by electric. They're not gonna get this benefit. At the same time, the lost revenue is gonna impact everybody countywide. 
So the benefit is going to be enjoyed by residents outside of the city, but the, the cost is going to be borne by all residents. I think there's way too many questions. It's a huge budget number, and um, I don't see any reason why it has to be voted on tonight. And, and I guess my answer will be no if we do vote on it tonight. Mm -hmm. um, so I understand the timeline of this can be pushed back for further discussion. So I would be interested in tabling this for that purpose. There is new information that we're getting here as we're sitting in our seats. I would like to process this further. I um, do agree with the fact of giving folks a break and however we can hit their wallets um, most directly, I'm in favor of. But I just want to make sure that we're making up that million somewhere, have an idea. I also, um, to piggyback at what Trish was mentioning, we do need, and I wanted to take this opportunity at the end of the meeting to ask if the legislature will join me in um, asking the budget director to give us a, uh, you know, year to date budget projection um, and budget actual on how the 22 budget has been performing. What have we spent so far? What is it looking like? Because I've seen this, I've just heard just sitting here, the fund balance numbers are kind of not, you know, they're not, not known, right? So I would like to see that information so that we knew. And then if we do feel comfortable, uh, you know, I, I'm not opposed to taking steps. Mr. Chairman, I would like to have this voted on tonight. We have people in our county who are going to be purchasing their fuel oil. They're going to be making purchases to heat their homes this winter. I understand that it doesn't impact the people in the city, but it does impact all of my constituents. Uh, and uh, I think that we should all vote yes to get rid of this tax, or we should start taxing food. Come on. It's I don't like the sarcasm. I got to heat my house. Uh, all right. Okay. Just a point of clarification that to say it doesn't impact people in the city is not a tr truly accurate statement. Sorry, I heard that as the argument. The lost revenue will impact everybody countywide. And we're in a period of high inflation. Our costs are going up. And we have a healthy fund balance right now. But we, we don't have a sense of where we're at with our budget right now. We haven't had a budget to actual. We don't know how our budget is performing. We have contracts that we're negotiating with virtually every union uh, in this county. And um, we can we can look at that fund balance number and feel feel confident, but I wouldn't because it's you know with the with the way where the costs are going up, um, and it's I think it's um short sighted to to not look at look at everything completely um, and really get a sense of where we're at financially and how we're going to make up this this lost revenue um, <coughs> moving forward without having any idea of where we're at with our budget. Andy first, then Brian. Well, I think you and I have been here seven years. I don't know. I think just you and I. Well, what, yeah, Aileen, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Brian was like, what was it? 40, 149, 150? We're, <coughs> it's 150. We're pushing 165 now. Seven Let's not seven. fool ourselves with where are we going to find the savings? We're not. We're government. I mean, you know, we talk about trying to find the savings, but trust me i'd love to try to find the savings since i'd like to be back at 150 where we started but so i don't know i mean just let's move on vote on it or not one or the other right i'm for it i i would um ask the floor to table this because i don't want this resolution to get shot down and defeated I just think that without having a year to date budget and we haven't seen one yet, never seen one yet, how can we make a decision to for, of a million dollars? I am, or maybe we might go to 1%. We don't even know where we're at. We don't have, I, we don't have a year to date budget. So I would suggest, I would hope that everybody would table because I wouldn't want this to get defeated just because we don't have enough information. I'll second the motion to table. There it is. Okay, uh, any further discussion? It was just driving me nuts. It's like, Hans, did you have your hand up? I'm sorry. Did you have your hand up? We got a motion. No, it's tabled, isn't it? No, 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 not yet. Yeah. Yeah. It's tabled. Voting on it. No discussion. It has to be voted on. It has to be voted on. Hey, it has to be voted on. Let's have a roll call, all right, please? Sure. This is to table.
Nothing. WM, or ledge three, excuse me. Everybody straight on that, please? Yes. So let me just ask a no vote means we're gonna to continue to, we're gonna vote on it. Right. Okay. Jim Seal? No. Eddie Dennison? No, and I retract my with bells on earlier. Ray <laughs> Ruffini? No. Chris Petrus? No. Aileen McDab Coleman? Yes. Bob Shea? No. Hans Petcher? No. Mark Strong? No. Heidi Nightingale? Yes. Elaine Daly? Yes. Fisher Kerr? Yes. Christina Clarko? Yes. Michael Didio is excused. Brian Muldrow? Yes. David Gould? No. Okay, so now go ahead, Chris. I just wanted to, before, I wanted to, I don't know how I, what I want to do. I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to, to feather out the difference between the discussion between the necessity for a year to date budget and the discussion of whether we're going to implement or withdraw the, the tax on home heating fuel. Uh, I just wanted to say, I think to accurately know where you're going, you gotta know where you are. I think we need to have that. I thought that we were gonna be getting quarterly, maybe. Um, but I just wanted to say, I'm voting for this, I support this. I, I, I don't, I wanna get the savings for our constituents, but emphatically, I think we need to have a budget. Um, Just so everybody knows, I sent out some emails. There's two things here. We're talking about the 23 budget and the 22 budget. Correct. I was thinking some people wanted to know what was going on with the 23 budget, which we haven't even met with the department edge yet. The 22 budget, certainly we can get something updated. I will ask Lynn and Mary Beth if they would be uh, kindly enough to, to do that with me and we can get it out to everybody. Is that okay, Lynn? Is that okay with everybody? At least we'll know where we are for this year. I'd appreciate it, Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. It's amazing. Well, amazing. Thank you. Thank you. So budget. that would be pending that information. I would love to explore this further. But at this point today, as I sit in the seat, same thing that I'm looking at this resolution, I can't support it without knowing the full entire picture. Um, and that does pain me a little bit because I do have constituents in my district because I'm a rural representative. Have the, you know these needs so but i do i am fiscally responsible i would like to see an entire picture i'm gonna have to vote on today I, I do have a question about the resolution too and, and just a suggestion um you know um i'd be in favor of putting a a time period of this maybe i don't when the winter season ends because it's very it'd be very unpopular because this he said this is forever Right, so it'd be very unpopular that maybe we do have a shortfall after we see the year-to-date budget, and we say we go into 2020, 23, and we're behind, and we need that four percent back or two percent or one percent. It it would be very unpopular to make a change. I think we should put a time frame on it so it's not indefinite. That's that's just a suggestion. I don't know how to recommend that, but can I put that on the table that we can maybe after the winter season revisit this instead of having it out there forever. Yeah, to do that, you have to make a motion to amend. Can I make a motion to amend? Wait a minute, uh, Mr. Chair. Yes. Just, just a matter of clarification on uh, the ramifications. For the fuel tax, a um, couple things. One, it goes in at the beginning of every quarter. So to be effective, it goes in September 1 and December 1, et cetera. We have to get it to the state. If this passes or whatever, we have to get it to the state at least 30 days in advance for them to acknowledge it and uh, for it to take effect. Secondly, uh, with a fuel tax, you can't put a sunset on it. Yeah. What you need to do is, if those events take place, as you say, changing the budget, you have to do a separate motion at that time, a separate resolution that would go into effect for the beginning of the next court. So are you saying that um, the, your first statement that if we don't make the decision today because we got to get 30 days out, then that's why we got to make the decision now today. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yes. 
in order for it. I'm not trying to persuade you. Oh, I know. I, I just have this clarification. Uh, and the other, the other the part the of it, calendar works. No, I got it. I got it. You know, yeah. the other part of your question was on the 31st. I mean, um, there's no sunset on this particular resolution. There, there could not be a sunset. Correct. Correct. Under the state regulations, you can't sunset it in advance. You have to make the. You can take action. You can change it. It's not in cement. You can take, but you have to formally take action at a future date. Through another resolution, right? Through another resolution. Okay. I, I know somebody else had their hand up. Was it Mark? I. Okay. Was it anybody else? Did you want a roll call vote? Yeah, I think we better have a roll call vote. This is again ledge three. Okay, it's been discussed. All in well, go ahead and roll call. Jim Basile? Yes. Andy Dennison? Yes. Lydia Patty Ruffini? Yes. Chris Petrus? Yes. Eileen McDab Coleman? No. Bob Shea? Yes. Hans Petcher? Yes. Mark Strong? Yes. Heidi Nightingale? No, for the exp explanation that um, I was uh, unable to make a accurate uh, due to lack of uh, fiscal. Okay. Elaine Daly? No. Trisha Kerr? <coughs> no. Christina Clarko? It pains me, but no. Michael Diddy is excused. Brian Meldrow? I'm so conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> Um, don't have a box for that. Kind of stain. Sorry, play the Jeopardy music. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna vote. Um, I think I'm gonna vote yes, and um, only because I hope we can figure this out, and I hope all the information is right. <clears throat> what else to and I'm going to vote yes with a little caveat, but I know that this can be changed. This is not in stone, as Rich said. Pass. We can change this if we have to. So I'm voting yes. Pass. 